Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 18th of November, 2022, is the dedication of the Basilicas of St. Peter and Paul, and the optional memorial of St. Rose Philippine de Casney, Virgin. This is the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. O Grace Truly Celestial, without which our own merits are nothing, neither are the gifts of nature to be esteemed. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, you open wide the door of your house and you bid us to enter confidently that we may worship you in spirit and truth. Help me to draw near to you with gratitude and joy for your great mercy. May I always revere your word and give you acceptable praise and worship. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Born in Grenoble, France, Rose Philippine de Casney entered the Society of the Sacred Heart in 1804. After hearing a sermon by a missionary priest, she pleaded to go to the native peoples of the New World. In 1817, Rose left France for St. Charles, Missouri, the remotest village in the United States. She was 49. She spent the next 20 years establishing schools for girls. At age 72, she went at last to the Potawatomi tribe. A year later, she declared, I feel the same longing for the Rocky Mountain missions and any other like them that I experienced in France when I first begged to come to America. Rose died in 1852. The Epistle I took the small scroll and I swallowed it. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 10, verse 8. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 119 Responsorial How sweet to my taste is your promise! In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise! Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise! The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise! How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth! 
how sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel You have made it a den of thieves. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verse 45. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose, because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Jesus entered the temple area. Luke chapter 19 verse 45 Luke's gospel is moving toward its climax. Jesus enters Jerusalem as the true king of Israel, coming to take his rightful place. As we know, the crown and throne that this king will be given were made not of gold, but of thorns and nails and a wooden cross. He came to rule with the surpassing power of love rather than the limited power of an army. This is clear immediately after Jesus' triumphal entry into the city. He goes not to the seat of military power, but to the spiritual heart of the kingdom, the temple area. Luke chapter 19, verse 45. Luke tells us Jesus did two things when he arrived there. First, he purified the temple, restoring it to its proper purpose as a house of prayer. Next, he taught the people who fed hungrily upon his words and by establishing Jesus' entry into Jerusalem as the climax of his story in this way, Luke shows how Jesus fulfilled the bright promises that the priest Zechariah announced at the very beginning of the Gospel. God has visited and brought redemption to his people so that, without fear, we might worship him in holiness and righteousness. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. In just two days, we will celebrate the feast of Christ the King. What Luke shows us about Jesus' first coming, both in his birth and in his arrival at the temple, can help us encounter Jesus the King in our prayer. Just as he entered the world as a humble child and the royal city of Jerusalem as a prophet of transformation, Jesus wants to enter your heart humbly and with the promise of a new life. Today in prayer, imagine yourself giving the keys to the city of your life to Jesus. Allow him to go straight to the temple of your heart and purify you. Such cleansing can feel uncomfortable 
But remember, God is setting you free to worship Him. He is setting you free from the things in your life that compete for His rightful place. He is setting you free to hear His teaching and to experience His love and His presence. So don't be afraid. Jesus, your King, has loved you to the end. Welcome Him today. Lord Jesus, Come into my heart, purify me, and set me free. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people, like yourself, that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.